Hey, it's Jared. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how I use Apple Notes and Reminders to be more productive. Now, I've made other videos about this topic on my tech channel, and I also have an Apple productivity course that I'll link to down in the description. But I switched over to Apple Notes and Apple Reminders a while back because I was tired of all the complexity of the other applications, adding new features, and I get excited about those. I go down those rabbit holes, and I just found myself becoming less and less productive. So over the last several months, really probably about six months now that I've been using Apple Notes and Reminders full time, I thought I'd come back and revisit this concept and show some of the things that I figured out in using these apps that really make them super productive tools for me when it comes to using my Apple devices. So let's first of all, take a look at Apple Reminders. I've got Reminders here on my iPad and the inbox is one of the most important areas for me. I put everything in an inbox first. So any new task that I have, whether I come into Reminders and add that task, or I just use this quick action right here called Add to Inbox, which allows me to add a new task really quick and then hit Done, and then I can go and manage it later. That's what I want is an easy way to get my tasks into Apple Reminders without having to tap on a bunch of things, open up applications, get distracted. But now if I go into Apple Reminders, you can see Add New Task is there in my inbox. Now, if I open this task up, then I can go and I can add a date and a time. I can move it to a different list and add a priority, all of that good stuff. But I tend to do that at the end of the day. I'll go through and look at all the tasks that I added that were just random things that I remembered. Oh, I've got to do that. I need to pick up that, whatever it is. And I add those items to my inbox. Then I go and process those. Where do they belong? Do they belong in my personal folder, in my work folder? Is it a client related task? Then I add the date and time. I also add a priority to it as well. Then it is processed and I'll go through as much of my inbox as I can and try to keep that as clean as possible. Now, when it comes to focusing on tasks for the day, I can go into the today view and see all of my tasks for the day, or I could go into my daily focus and get the prioritized list of tasks for the day. Now, my daily focus is a series of smart lists and smart lists are a different type of list that you can create and smart lists get their tasks based off of certain criteria. So for example, the items that show up in the top priority show up there because the date for that task is today and the priority is set to the highest priority level. And so it automatically puts that task within that folder. And I have other videos where I show how to do that. So I'll make sure to link to that down below. And then I also walk through all of this stuff in much more detail in my Apple Ultimate Productivity course. So this daily focus area is where I go to see what are the things that must get done today. You might end up having a lot of things on your list that you set with today's date because you were just changing dates, maybe not super cognizant of how many things you were putting on today's date. So you end up with this massive list that's overwhelming and you're not sure where to start. Well, that's where setting priorities for specific tasks is really good. And, and I actually have some top priority tasks and I'm going to be working on this afternoon. And then I have a couple of medium priority tasks. And then I already handled my low priority tasks this morning. I wasn't feeling super productive. And so I didn't want to go with anything that might be challenging a higher priority. I just wanted to get a couple of low priority, easy tasks out of the way. And so sometimes I will put tasks in the top priority that are harder because it's going to be a harder task and, and it's in red and I know that I need to prepare myself for working on that. These also might be top priority because they need to be done today, like today's the deadline. And then medium and low might be for lower difficulty tasks and then also for tasks that I potentially could put off to another day if I don't get to them. So I use this area in a couple of different ways so that I can stay focused and get the things done that I need to get done. And if I get done with this entire list, I can always go to my today list and there might be a few other items that are still in the today list that I can then work on from there. So very easy to use Apple reminders to stay organized and work on the things that matter most. Now, I also jump over to notes quite a bit as well. I start to store resources and other things within notes. So for example, if I look at my list of upcoming videos, you can see that some of these are linked to other notes. 
This is a list and I can check these off. So as I'm filming these videos, so for example, I have an item here, how do I manage my time with Apple reminders and notes? If I had another note that had specific details about how I was going to do this video, maybe it was an outline for the video or something like that, I could simply link to that. So to use that as an example, there's this video, three Apple note power user tips that I'm gonna be creating on my tech channel. I then have a breakdown of that information here and it's linked in my main note. And so I can go and look at my upcoming videos and then I can tap on one of these and get to the specific note so that I could see more information there. And so I'll use Apple Notes often to store information, to work on ideas, to build out outlines, to keep information I might need for something else. And then I can refer back to that really easily by clicking and linking internally to different lists and notes from within Apple Notes. Now, sometimes I need reminders to work on a note because I might have this note for a specific video. So for example, this three Apple Notes power user tips I can then share this. Instead of collaborate, I'll choose send a copy and then I will swipe over to reminders and then I can choose like some more details. Let's say I want to film this video tomorrow. I want to film it in the morning. So we'll put 8 a.m. there. I want the priority to be set to high and then I'm going to change the list to work and hit add. And then when I go over to Apple reminders and I look at stuff that's scheduled, so when I look at tomorrow, you can see there it is, Apple Notes Power User Tips, and it's linked to a note. So it not only has the information, it put all that information, didn't really format it too well, but it put all that information into the note. I can then just tap on that note icon and it takes me straight to the note in Apple Notes. And to me, that is such a time saver and a productivity tip that has worked so well for me because it's often that I'll start working on a note and then that note gets buried because I'm working on other things. I may have filtered it away, put it in a folder and I just don't see it because it's a big list of notes and I'm not paying attention to it. But I want to work on that. I either wanna work on that idea or I want to film that video. So I send it over as a reminder to Apple Notes and it's a linked note that then takes me back to notes and then I can work on that and then check it off in reminders. Huge, huge, huge time saver. So that's how I've been using Apple Notes and Apple Reminders to stay more productive and I continue to unlock new and better ways of doing things that makes these tools even more and more powerful. And best of all, they're included free on your Apple devices and they sync across all of your Apple devices easily. So if you wanna learn more about how to be productive with your Apple devices, definitely check out my course linked down below. And I'll also link to those other videos that I referenced in this video. But if you found this one useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Lastly, I also have a newsletter that I send out from time to time as well, with tips and tricks like this and just other things that are going on in my life. I call it my Field Notes newsletter. If you're interested in that, it's also linked down in the description. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much. We'll see you back in another one soon.